Jeremy Clarkson's BBC show Top Gear has been part vehicle review, part vehicle for wacky entertainment and schoolboy-like antics. 350 million gearheads around the world watch it, but Clarkson has become as controversial as he'd become popular. There were complaints of Clarkson uttering bigoted or racist comments. He'd been warned by BBC brats. Clarkson and his crew were most recently chased out of Argentina after affixing a license plate to a test vehicle that locals took to be an insulting reference to the devastating Falklands War. But it was an incident at this country inn after a day of production that finally undid the BBC's most popular TV host. A BBC internal investigator's report says Clarkson allegedly struck and verbally abused a Top Gear producer. Physical violence accompanied by prolonged verbal abuse has, in my view, crossed a line. And that's why, with regret, I've decided that we will not be renewing Jeremy's contract. After Clarkson was first suspended, earlier this month, fans demanded his reinstatement. They delivered a petition with thousands of names to BBC headquarters in a style befitting Top Gear on board a tank. Today, Clarkson's disappointed international fans include Brian Daly in Toronto. I just thought it was kind of disappointing. He's always getting himself into trouble and I think it was bound to happen one day that there was something that he couldn't come back from. Oh, I think One of Clarkson's now former Top Gear co-hosts suggests the incident is being blown out of proportion. I'm sorry that what ought to have been a small incident sorted out easily turned into something big. Clarkson has so far remained uncharacteristically quiet following his firing. The BBC is now looking for a new host for one of its most commercially successful shows. Ron Charles, CBC News, London.